Local farmers teaming up with local churches to make sure that students don't go hungry during distance learning. We'll talk about how families can get some help in San Marcos all coming up on Fox 5. Local farmers are making sure kids don't go hungry during distance learning. Heather Lake is in San Marcos with ways you can get free fruits. Families can get free fruits and vegetables. Well, it takes a lot of helping hands to come together and make something like this happen. But tomorrow here at the Rock Church at the San Marcos campus, 200 of these fruit and veggie boxes, also known as CSA boxes, are being given away. And this is just the start to helping families all over San Diego County. It really does take a village. So you see some of the volunteers here. They'll be coming out tomorrow again. They're just getting packs together of these really cool kits that will help out some of our elementary age learning situations. They're called Osmo kits, so they're putting those in there as well as diapers some fresh bread. This all goes along with a farm box. Um, so our local farmers are really getting involved. It's called Yasukochi Farms and they had some extra produce. So it's all about changing that distribution model, right? Making sure that all of these boxes of nutrients and really awesome local food is going to some families in need. So this is all happening at the Rock Church that I mentioned. So I've got Jason Mayer with me to talk a little bit about that. You're the pastor here. Yes. What have you seen? I mean, you guys have obviously seen a need and you're delivering that. Yeah, well, you know, it's amazing. We started this food distribution last year before COVID hit. And so not knowing what was going to happen. And even then, you know that there's people that are in need. And in fact, in San Diego County, about 450,000 people are food insecure, meaning they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. And that's in normal circumstances. But of course, with COVID and unemployment rates really high right now, we know more and more families are in need of these practical things. And so it's a privilege for us to be able to come alongside uh, and partner with other community members, like you mentioned, the Oscar Farms and others, the food bank, to be able to really practically show people that it, there's hope and there's there's an opportunity for them to receive those things. So we love the opportunity to have these conversations with people. Yeah, and tomorrow it's a drive-through. Um, they don't need anything. There's no requirements. There's no, you guys aren't checking in and seeing how much money is coming into their house. This is, if this is the time that you need it, we trust that you are filling up your tank with gas and driving here to get what you need for your family. Absolutely, there, there's, uh, there's no shame. I know it's hard sometimes to receive right but we, please if you have any need whatsoever come uh, there's no like you said there's no qualifications this is open to the public uh, we would love to encourage you practically with some things encourage you pray for you uh, you know this is a time where we need to come together as a community and this is just one small practical way we can do that as the church and it might be just this week that they need something it might be next week that they need something you guys are continuing this so as far as tomorrow goes that starts at noon it's gonna be the first 200 cars first come first serve but you guys are also serving not only in San Marcos, but other locations and throughout throughout the month. Yeah, so first Thursday of every month, we're right here in San Marcos. The second Thursday of the month, so next Thursday, we'll be in the City Heights campus location doing the same thing, distributing food. So go to a campus near you. Uh, we're happy to provide it. Uh, and if you are in a position of need, please come out. We want you to be here so we can support you and encourage you, provide you these things. And if you're in a position where you can support and give, uh, please come volunteer. We'd love to have you out as well to be uh, helping hands. Many hands make for light work. Or perhaps <laughs> you're in a place where you want to help out financially. You can give as well. You can go to SCRock.com, find out more information on how you can partner with us. Even if you don't feel comfortable maybe leaving the house right now, we understand that. You can still partner with what we're doing. Volunteers, I tell you, those nonprofits, donations are always needed. So if you want to help out families or you're a family in need, you can definitely find out all that information. We've linked the Rock Church, their North, North County campus, as well as what they're doing around the county up on Fox5SanDiego.com. All you need to do is just click on that scene on tab. All right, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now.